I'm Colin Engel, CEO and co-founder of iRobot, and for the last 29 years, I've had the chance to build some pretty cool stuff. But I'm not the only one, you have too. And over the next couple minutes, we're gonna get a chance to look at those things on Cool Stuff. So what's up first? How about a self-navigating trash can? I love practical robots and it's hard to get more practical than this. Everybody has to empty the trash and nobody likes to. So why don't you attach a slam engine on wheels in the front of a trash can so it can actually navigate to the curbside. When it gets there, it can be emptied, navigate and put itself away. Well, that's exactly what Smart Can is from Resi. Not available today, you'll have to wait to the end of 2020. So what's up second? How about a robot that ensures your loved elders take their medications on time? Meet Pillow. This is a robot that ensures the right person takes the right medication at the right time. Now this is a very important problem. If you're on multiple meds, the statistics for doing it properly are really bad. Five or more meds, less than 5% of people get it right. So how does it work? Well, there's a camera that recognizes who is in front of it, so it makes sure the right person is taking the pill. It's voice activated, so there's not a lot of complexity here, and it ensures you actually do it. Okay, pillow. Dispense my meds. Hi, Colin. Here is the medication I have for you to take. Would you like to dispense it now? Yes. So now there's a carousel inside rotating. It holds 28 days of medications. Uh, so once it's loaded up, you're good for almost a month. Your dose has been dispensed. Be sure to take your pill. Here we go. And if I didn't take my meds, the system knows and a caregiver can actually become notified and place a call to me to see what's up. So what's up third? How about an inspection robot? But because this is cool stuff, how about an inspection robot in space? space, space. That's what Astrobe is. Like its terrestrial brethren, this robot carries sensors around the environment that it's made to explore looking for leaks or other problems. But because it's up in space, it needs to move in zero gravity in three dimensions, has to maintain a map of where it's going, and it's up on the International Space Station right now. Well, that's it for this edition of Cool Stuff. If there are any builders out there who have created something awesome, tweet at me at Colin Angle, and it might just appear on the next show. Till then, thank you for watching and keep on building.